Hi, Paul with Diode Dynamics looking at the front turn signal and side marker bulbs on the 2015 Mustang. On all models, you just have incandescent bulbs for the side marker and turn signal. They're always on with the headlights and parking lights, and of course, they light up brighter for that turn signal. Now, as you can see on the driver's side, we've switched them out for LEDs. The side marker we've just replaced with a Diode Dynamics cool white bulb to evenly distribute light in that housing. The turn signal bulb is actually a unique bulb that lights up amber when you hit the turn signals, but as you can see, whenever the turn signal is off, it'll emit a nice cool white color for a modern appearance. One other big advantage we'll get is we're going to completely eliminate that amber effect when the lights are off in the housing. Your housings will look completely clear for a nice uniform look. Let's see how to install these. It'll only take a couple minutes. Now before we get started, let's take a look at the bulbs we'll be using. For the side marker, it's just a simple wedge style bulb. You can see the generic style of bulb here. This will light up okay, but because each LED is at a different place on the bulb, it's not going to shine light evenly in that big housing. At Diode Dynamics, we have the HP3 bulb, which has the diffusing lens. It's still going to be very high in brightness, but it's going to diffuse the light very well and distribute it, so it's going to look the same as the OEM bulb. So for the dual color turn signal bulb, there's a lot of different options on the market. The bulb we'll be using today is the HP24 bulb, and this is a brand new design that we've done at Diode Dynamics. This has a full aluminum enclosure, and that allows us to run these LEDs at extremely high power to make it the brightest plug-and-play bulb on the market. Now, that's a big improvement from existing older designs, and it's still plug-and-play, unlike full systems here. You can find out more about all the different types of dual color bulbs on the market in another one of our videos. For now, let's go ahead and get the HP24 installed, which is only going to take about two or three minutes because we actually don't even need resistors. Let's get started. Now all we have to do is access through the wheel well, and it's really pretty simple. There's just one, two, three locking screws that we're going to remove. Just get your flathead, and there's actually a nice slot to push it back, and then you can pull the entire screw straight out. We're going to do that for the other two as well. Then just go ahead and grab the wheel well plastic right by the duct and pull it back as far as you need to just to get a hand in there. Now looking at the back of everything, we're going to see the brown turn signal connector, the gray side marker connector, and then the back of your fog light, of course. So first we'll do the side marker, just grab a hold of that connector, turn counterclockwise, and pull it out of the socket. You can see we'll just pull the amber bulb straight out, grab a hold of that glass, and then push your new bulb into place. This might be tight, but that's good because it'll be a nice secure fit. Now some bulbs, you might have to rotate 180 degrees. Dive Dynamics bulbs will actually work both directions for the HP3. So then we can just put the connector back in place and turn clockwise to lock it. For the turn signal, we're going to do the same thing with the brown connector. Turn counterclockwise, pull it straight out. And you can see just a much bigger amber bulb. So again, we're going to pull this straight out. Now, the new switchback bulb might be a little trickier than that tiny bulb. We have to make sure that those pins align in the socket. So if you put it in and it's not lighting up the right color or it's not lighting up at all, make sure to adjust those pins so that they're perfectly straight, making contact right in this socket. So we're just going to push it in. Again, this bulb will work either direction, but some bulbs you might have to flip 180 degrees. Once it's in, we can just find that hole again, put it straight through, and turn it clockwise to lock it in place. Now we've installed the bulbs on both sides, and as you can see, we have a nice, cool white, modern LED appearance. We also retain that really bright amber front turn signal in a modern LED instant on and off. We didn't sacrifice that turn signal brightness, but we still have the dual color effect. Now you might have heard that some turn signal LED bulbs require resistors or else it'll blink really quick. The Ford Mustang for years 2015 and up actually blinks at a constant speed. So you really don't need any resistors at all. You're always going to be blinking at the standard rate. The only difference is inside the vehicle, you'll have a different clicking rate for the indicator, which actually sounds a little bit like a pony trotting. So we didn't really mind that. We're not going to install any resistors on our vehicle. However, if you want the same speed for that indicator, we do offer inline resistors, which don't require any cutting or splicing. Otherwise, you can enjoy your nice LED cool white appearance on the front ends, along with those LED amber turn signals. All these bulbs are designed in St. Louis, Missouri, and feature only the highest quality components. They're backed by full warranty as well. 
You can find them online at diodynamics.com or use our dealer locator tool to find them at a dealer near you. Thanks for watching.